So in the last video, we showed you how we transferred the water from the well stream into the tote. And in today's video, we're going to show you how we get that water out of the tote and in the garden beds. So hope you enjoy this video. All right, so you saw how we set up the the transfer pump, the main pump that pumps to the tote. And now I'm going to show you how we take that water in the tote and then pump it onto all of these crops over here. So this pumping station, just like the other pumping station, also runs off of a solar panel. So another 100 watt Renology panel and that is wired to a charge controller. I'm going to show you. So there's my charge controller. This is a Renology one. We had bought two and this one's the waterproof one. The other one we had before was not waterproof and didn't work out correctly. And then this Renology charge controller there's the negative and the plus for the solar. And on the back of your panel, you've got two terminals, a negative and a positive. So that is how that's wired to the charge controller. So now the power from the sun is going from this solar panel into the charge controller and then to this battery system here. And how that's possible is there's a plus and a negative here where the battery goes. And you can see there's a positive and a negative terminal on my battery. Okay, and then this battery is how we're getting power from that pump. So here's the pump. So it's a C-flow pump. It's a water pressure pump. It's a 12 volt pump. Every this is a 12 volt system. And it produces about 5.5 gallons per minute. And the flow is great. So all you have to do to wire this pump to your battery is this is an old extension cord wire. We just cut it. We took the black and the white wire, put the white on the black uh, terminal and the black on the red terminal. These are your plus and your minus that come off this battery. And then you can see it just goes and goes and goes. And then here's my terminals, my negative, or my plus here my negative here and all we're doing is we're taking a bolt on the other end of on the other end of the extension cord we've got that same uh, black and white wire the black goes in the positive side what we do is we take our nut here and we put the nut over the terminal, right? Nice and tight. Same thing we do over here. And then this turns on. This is your inlet pump here. So this is connected inside of the tote. And that's pulling the water out of the tote through the pump, but it's gotta go through this filter first. Let's take this off. So there's your filter. Let's see what sort of stuff we got in here. It's pretty nasty in there. Probably time for a cleaning. So then it gets filtered. So then it goes through this, this filter here, into the pump, and then your outlet side. And then the outlet is the garden hose. So I'm gonna show you right now where this goes to. Now let's go over to, let's follow the cord here. 
Here it is. There you go. You can see the pressure is real nice. No sort of delays in the pressure. And all we're doing is just watering. And this is how we water all of our beds. We hand water it. Next year, we will not be hand watering. <laughs> Next year, we're going to try to switch over to a uh, easier method for watering, such as irrigation. I know, our first year, and we hand watered everything. Are, are we crazy? I feel like we are. So, pretty simple setup. You know, that's how we're doing everything with this solar powered uh, pumping station. You saw the other solar panel on the transfer pump. Now you're seeing the second station here next to the tote. And then now you're seeing all the water that's in the tote get out of the tote and end up in those garden beds. So, hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully, you learned a little something. Uh, make sure to like this video if you thought it was cool. Subscribe to our channel. Give this video a little like. And uh, drop us a comment. Let us know. Maybe we can help you out. Alright, we'll see you on the next one.